have received lots of questions about what we do for school. And we will make this video to help you guys understand. This is our classroom! The first thing we did was come up with a school name. We are called the Hysterical Blue Macaws. We really like parrots. This is our school mascot. The next thing Naomi and I did was come up with some school rules. When Naomi is getting out of hand, sometimes we need to pull out the school rules again. School rules. And Zoe. <laughs> no feet on the table. <laughs> no toys or distractions at the table. <laughs> We do about two to three hours of school a day. When seas are calm and we are sailing, we take this opportunity to learn. No, we do not have to worry about our papers blowing away because we mostly do school down below on the galley table. But sometimes we are interrupted by whales and dolphins riding the bow. Sometimes it is too rough to study, so we just hold on and try to keep our lunches down. Here I am eating some canned pieces while Zoe works on her extreme dot. We have spelling, math, reading, comprehension, and grammar every day. And yes, we do get spelling tests every Friday. If we get 100%, we get a pick the movie for Friday night movie night. Get moving night. We get jellies for every page of math we do. Sometimes I'll do 20 pages of math and I get 20 jellies. Mom and Dad are our teachers. Here is Mom marking Naomi's math exercise while I create a tangram. The tangram is an ancient Chinese puzzle where the square is cut into seven different geometric shapes. Each shape is called a tan. We also practice our writing and art skills by keeping a daily journal and creating scripts for these videos. Here we are working on our journals. Like our friends back home, we have a lot of DIAs. DIAs stand for drop everything and leave. Mom and Dad often join us for the DIA section. With mom and dad both being scientists, we got a lot of science. Here we are looking at plankton we collected from the mangroves. Here I am getting a Skype lesson from my harp teacher back in Canada. I like to practice my harp where it is quiet and the mangroves is a perfect place. Christmas songs on my piano. Here we are getting a lesson on crocheting and knitting. Dad even knitted a bunny. We spend a lot of time knitting and crocheting when we are on passages because it helps us pass the time. take every opportunity to learn about other culture. Here we are celebrating Chinese New Year. It was the year of the rooster! Cock-a-doodle-doo! In preparation for Chinese New Year, we decorated the boat by painting dragons and roosters and making Chinese lanterns. We then started to make supper. 
We had a Chinese hot pot and made pot stickers, which is a traditional meal served during Chinese New Year. Here we are celebrating Australia Day with Ty, Hillary, and Fred. Ty is Australian, so we tried to make him feel at home. We made meat pies for supper and lamingtons for dessert. This is a traditional Australian meal. Here we are practicing our Spanish by playing a game of Kuma Seguise with some of the kids we met in Mexico. They taught us the name of the object in Spanish and we taught them the name of the object in English. Sometimes we miss school to go on field trips. Field trips are a big part of our learning. We are now going to show you some examples of our field trips and what we learned. We spent a lot of time at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. Here we are learning about the fraction of light. The fraction is the bending of light when it passes around the edge of an object. Here I am sticking my arm through a big bubble. Surface tension keeps the bubble from popping. Here we learned that the primary colors for light are different than the primary colors for paints. The primary colors for light is red, blue, and green, and the primary colors for paint is red, blue, and yellow. With this picture, you can see what colors are made when you combine the different primary colors. Here we are learning about parabolic mirrors and how the image inverts once you get beyond the focal point of the mirror. We also did a trip to the aquarium by the bay. Well, we learned about the animals that live along the California coast. Here we are learning about long-nosed skates and bat rays in the touch tank. The mouths of skates and rays are on the bottom, and they feed mainly on benthic invertebrates, including clams, worms, and crustaceans. They do not have sharp teeth like their cousins, the sharks. Their teeth are blunt, and they are used for grinding up their food. It was very cool to be in the tunnels that lead under the big tank. It felt like you were diving through all the chalks and fish. Here we are learning about white sturgeon. Did you know that sturgeon has been around for 135 million years and lived during the time of the dinosaurs? There are also striped sea bass that live off of the California coast. These are important fish for commercial and sport fishermen and can grow up to 100 pounds. Here we are learning about jellyfish and how jellyfish feed. Did you know that jellyfish have stinging cells in their tentacles that help them paralyze prey? Some of these stinging cells can be so powerful that they can be dangerous to humans. At the Aquarium by the Bay, there were scientists who were sharing their research results with us. Here we learned about ocean acidification, how increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing the acidity in the ocean. The increase of acidity is killing lots of the plankton, which is at the base of the food chain. Losing the base of the food chain will have devastating effects on the fish that we rely on for food. We also visited the California Academy of Science. Here we learned about tropical rainforests and the importance of tropical rainforests in maintaining the climate and providing us with oxygen. We also learned that humans are destroying tropical rainforests at an alarming rate. It's important that we make every effort to protect the remaining rain. Here is the largest flower in the world. It lives in the tropical rainforests of Indonesia. It is called the corpse flower because it smells like rotting meat. This smell attracts flies that help pollinate the flowers. I am testing the squeeze of an anaconda that crutches its prey to death. Help me! Here we 
are feeding beautiful lorikeets from Australia. When we were in San Francisco, a sea lion was attacked by a great white shark. Here, the marine mammal rescue crew are tranquilizing the sea lion. The most important subject is recess! Yay! Yay! Make a part two for this video later on physical education on the boat. for watching our video. We'll make more later. Adios! Goodbye! ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó?